Hello, hi, and thank you for ordering the Masuki Gorias filler flower. This is not dirty, this is just paint, and yeah, this is really not dirty. This is just paint because when I embose, I when I make flowers, some flowers are painted and colored, and well, you know, and then well, this happens, so don't worry. Looks, they're just, yeah, whatever. I don't know, I felt like I had to explain that. Anyways, um, thank you for ordering the updated version of, uh, or the new and updated filler flower. MG filler flower, there you go, how cute is that? You can use this for an arrangement, bouquet. I'll be using this for the flower bag for Mother's Day, so that's why my... Um, how do you call that? Uh, wires are short and uh, they might be too long still, so I might have to cut that. So, first things first, um, I have a prepared floral wire here that's 0 0.4 and it's already um, covered with floral tape. Cut this in four pieces with your wire cutter there you go here's a half so all i have to do is cut this in half so i had this because i've been using this a lot and i would recommend you buying some if well to subscribers because we'll be using them a lot today for this month there so I also had cut a lot of um, the petals here because I thought I was going to need a lot but I'm using the word a lot, a lot, a lot. So I need seven but I'm not but I'm just going to put them aside, keep them and um, who knows, I might use them in the future again. Um, I'm using my small embossing tool. Oh, sorry if you're moving. Don't get dizzy. Don't get seasick. But I have to do this. I'll try not to move. Anyways, cut the templates, the petals rather, with your embossing tool. Really cup it. Give them dimension. Don't let them stay flat. You can also just press it like this. Right. I'm sorry if you're moving, my friends. I can't stop that. I'll try not to move so much. Sudden movements. Here. There you go. All seven of them. Here. <coughs> also, subscribers, thank you so much for subscribing. I hope you will enjoy our April subscription already. Oh my goodness. Can't believe it. <laughs> it was just like I still remember January and I still remember February where we celebrated our five years anniversary. And it's already April. What the beep? Can't believe this. Anyways, if you're new and you're not a member yet, please consider joining our Facebook group where you may share your creations for fun or for the monthly freebie. We have for the month of April, we have the Amsonia Storm Cloud, which is straight from the suggestion album. I thought for this year. Um, I wanted to create flowers from that album again, which I did a lot back in 2022, I believe, 21, 22, and then got a bit tired of it, and I uh, wanted to, no, do something else. So in 23, I didn't make a lot of flowers from that album. 
So going back there again, I'm accepting, I'm gonna, yeah, some challenge, a lot of challenging flowers there, but yeah, I think I have grown, I grow every year and learn so much that um, I can do that. So as you can see, I've used my embossing tool. It's back. There you go. Yeah. See? I'm going to pre-shape this one. Also, if you're a member of other Facebook groups, please consider sharing your creations there as well and help our community grow. I really would appreciate it. Thank you so, so, so much. Follow me on Instagram. Tag me there if you don't have Facebook. So I can see, you know, share your creations. So I can see them there as well. I always like that. So, now I'm going to apply glue here. And now you're here on YouTube anyways. Subscribe. Thank you, thank you. So, so much. And I forget my, to turn off my phone again. There you go. Now, we are going to attach the floral wire a bit higher than a strip. You know, let's see. And then fold that piece of the strip that's large, that goes over this one. There. <coughs> press, press, press. With your nails. Real tight. And then start rolling. By using your index finger and your thumb. The wires are very, very thin, so it might not work at once, but then you hold it and you can always pull it back gently before it's starting to roll in here. The start is the tricky part, but once you have a start, it goes very, very well. Just make sure you press it so it's nice and tight. While rolling, right? And if now it's loose again, just press. So, there. And if you want, you may use a thicker wire for this one. You know, you don't have to use this wire per se I am though but if you're like oh no fudge this it's okay don't and if you've already you can always keep it for other flowers so as you can see I'm just shaping the curving rather or shaping and separating the stems Giving the short ones that goes around the two big ones, as you can see. They're putting it back one by one. There you go. Oh. I'm positioning them. And then you have something like this. Now I'm going to. I glue and attach them on top. This is also the year that I'll be um, looking for new constructions for some of the older designs and make them easier with the techniques that I've learned um, in the five years. So, yeah. A technique that I've developed now and um, able to apply with other flowers. 
as well. And then once it's dry, you can separate them again. So you can see it's loose, getting loose again. You have to press it. Just press, it's okay. Again, you're allowed to use a different kind of um, thicker floral wire, the one that you have. It's totally fine don't necessarily have to use this one now we're gonna attach it cover it up with floral tape the strip don't want to see that nice and tight it's called floral tape but it doesn't work like regular tape you have to pinch it and stretch it to release the stickiness and I know that it goes from thick to thin but again it's you can just pinch it see and just go on <clears throat> maybe for new people it's a bit you know it's a learning process but once you have managed it you're gonna laugh about it and you'll find out there's nothing to it don't be afraid use a bit of force you know and if it breaks try again it happens to all of us there now it's attached I'm gonna arrange them again and there you go. We have made our filler. Now, no names because these are filler flowers, right? You can use one or you can make more, add them together. There you go. The floral tape. You can even, uh, when using a um, longer wire for your bouquets, then obviously, um, well, your wires are longer, right? So you don't have to cut them, but because I'm making this for the flower bag, I'm gonna, I had to cut them short. But for your bouquets, you definitely have to keep the wires long. There you go. That's it. Thank you so, so much. And I um, hope you enjoy making this one. Leave a, uh, how do you call that? A white heart or a white flower in the comment if you enjoyed making this one and if you agree that this is um, new updated design better than the old one one of the very very first flowers that was released in my Etsy store like five or six years ago I can't five years ago yeah oh my gosh five years for this time flies I for the flower bag I can't I'm not sure how many I'm gonna use yet but definitely um, if you have bought that will be shown in the arrangements video tutorial okay so I'll see you there um, or in the PDF instruction document yeah yes definitely okay good luck have fun and see you around ciao